Hi there, I hope you're doing well. How are you faring in this 1212 portal that starts on the 12th of the 12th and then goes right through until the 21st of December, which means that we have um, a very potent, I use that word a lot at the moment, don't I? But it's, it's a really descriptive word. So we have a really potent time where it's like a magical gateway, a portal is opened and this is a place where we can ascend spiritually, we can manifest materially and also on a spiritual level. So what we think, the thoughts that we're having and the dreams and the visions and the repetitive thoughts that we're having are helping to literally create our future. So it's really important that you watch your thoughts and feelings and desires at this time because the chances are that what you're thinking about constantly will come to pass in reality in some way shape or form it doesn't mean that they'll manifest exactly as you wish but it will kind of shape imagine if you're like a potter and you are um sculpting this uh, clay and and it's kind of what we're doing in our with our thoughts with our visions I hope that kind of expresses it okay so it might not come out exactly as we'd envisioned like we might be trying to do the Venus de Milo and it might end up coming out looking like a teapot or something else so that's that's a, a reflection on me my, my um sculpting skills are are kind of well actually that's an affirmation isn't it so my sculpting skills are getting better and better every day not that I've actually ever tried sculpting but maybe I should because I've said it now <laughs> But hopefully you know what I mean. So we're shaping our reality with our thoughts and feelings and internal desires because spirit, the divine, will hear what is in our hearts. It won't hear what's coming from the ego or the mind or the intellect. It hears what comes from our hearts. And this is something that we cannot hide from the divine. We can't hide it from ourselves we can try to hide it from others if we so choose <laughs> but but basically whatever is within is is what is heard by the divine and it's like your constant internal prayer that is going out radiating out to the universe and as i said at the beginning it's especially potent at this time as we're in the 1212 gateway which is super super powerful very fortuitous very potent on a magical spiritual manifestation level and if you haven't already checked out my fairy manifestation that i released earlier then please do so it's something that you can listen to when you're in bed on your headphones it's very light-hearted it's very gentle but it's a beautiful interactive guided visualization where you can meet the fairies and literally manifest and put the plant the seeds for your manifestation now i know that if you're used to working with the moon which i am and many of you are this 1212 portal kind of supersedes that new moon if that's even possible and it also what happens is it's like you're oh shall we say okay let's liken it to planting in the garden and so before you plant your seeds you prepare the soil so this is kind of like preparing the spiritual soil for your manifestation and then we prepare the soil at the time of 12 12 and then as the new moon comes up and remember it's in Sagittarius and we also have a solar eclipse so that makes it even extra powerful then we plant our seeds but actually we also use this time to set our intentions and also to release that which no longer serves us. Stuff that we know we've been perhaps holding on to, this could be anything at all. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You'll know what it is for you, but it's a time to surrender that to the divine. And then just remember that whatever's meant for you won't go by you. And, and even if it feels like it's out of reach or, oh, that moment's gone or that isn't gonna happen or this isn't gonna happen, just surrender it to the divine and trust in your path because who knows like if something is taken away it could be replaced by something that is way way better than you could have ever even imagined from the most unlikely unexpected places believe me it's true <laughs>
and it's wonderful when you open your heart and your mind and yourself your full self to receiving what is meant for you for the highest good of all and it's a really exciting wonderful journey so so what i'm going to do today because it is such a special moment in time i'm going to first of all do a little bit of clearing just a little bit just to set the space and um, i've got a few extra little surprises for you today the sound of the gong is clearing your aura, your psychic space, protecting you spiritually and psychically and physically. All is well. Love surrounds you. Love surrounds those you love. A beautiful vibration coming into your space filled with love, light, peace, joy and harmony and all things good for the highest good of all, for your highest good. Because today is the perfect, oh, can you hear the little bell? <laughs> this um, magical seven pointed star fairy wand was created for me by the most magical lady, Armorel Hamilton. She is the mother of fables. You would have seen my fables choosing oracle cards when I do the set of three cards. And um, she just creates the most incredible creations. So do check her out. I will tag her below. Now, I've got my wand out because we are, as I say, in this super potent manifesting time in the 1212 portal, yay, which goes on right up until the 21st of December. So what I wanted to talk about briefly, and I will do another video more in depth about this, is look at how sparkly this is this is my magical manifestation journal and what i do it's just plain paper inside and what i do is i write down the things that i wish to come to pass and this can be anything at all just remember when you're doing yours to keep them positive to keep them open and, and leave room for the divine to put that extra magical ingredient into and as i said i will go into this um in another video where i'll also be sharing somebody else's magical manifesting journal and we'll be looking at this and how we can work with journaling to enhance the manifestation process but that will come in another video so do keep a lookout for that but i've got mine out today because it's super sparkly and it's full of my hopes wishes dreams and i just wanted to share it with you because <laughs> it's so sparkly yay. i'm partial to sparkle <laughs> if you didn't know already <laughs> right, right. i also have some really some cards that are not my own and they're beautiful and they, they actually match my dress so i'm going for a kind of gold and black theme today so this is a rune book and these super chunky card rune cards and i will be pulling a rune because i think that will make it a little bit special today and, and they're by coco rena and i will put the link here so you can see the website and check out their other stuff because honestly it's incredible it's so classy and Oh, it's just lovely and they're really lovely to hold. So as I said, I will be pulling a room to clarify the whole energy of this reading. OK, let's go to because we're manifesting. I always feel like even though, of course, you can manifest with a mermaid, you totally can. But we're going to be working with the fairies today, Oracle of the Fairies, and just seeing what message they have for us. Because it is like fairy magic and fairy wishes and fairy blessings are around us right now. Oh, look, right at the bottom of the deck. Yay. Magical gateway, which is exactly what we're in. But I didn't pull that. That was just there. Just a little reminder. Fairies, fairies. Please share your wisdom with us today for the highest good of all. 
on this 1212 portal. Oh, and just before I continue, my little gold fairy necklace, because people are always asking me, um, this one is from Under the Ivy, and again, the link is here. Do check out her amazing, amazing creations. I'm so excited to see what message the fairies have for us on this 1212 portal. Oh, it's exciting. Yay. Wisdom. <laughs> yeah, fairy wisdom. And this does apply to when you're making any wishes or planting any seeds for your future that might involve somebody else. So perhaps this wisdom is coming in to remind you of that. It's also reminding you that we do actually have this inner wisdom that we can access at any time. When you get into a balanced space, perhaps either with meditation, in a bath or sitting still or out in nature, whatever it is that you do to relax and feel ah, a sense of calm, these are the times when we can especially tune in to our inner wisdom and that's what this fairy is saying now in this card there is a white owl flying silently now owls are notoriously associated with wisdom and the goddess athena also so if you want to kind of research a little bit more into that then do feel free to do so because it could give you some extra insight into this message. It isn't by chance that this owl is flying towards the fairy of wisdom. It, it was a definite thing, the vision that I had when these cards were being created by the amazing artist Ginger Kelly was this, this vision of the owl flying in towards the fairy. So um, that is very, very relevant. So for some of you, if you work with animal medicine, and I know many of you do, then call in the wisdom of owl, because this wisdom will kind of guide you and glide silently through, permeating your life to kind of impart wisdom throughout. And, and this is important if you want to get extra insight into a situation or just to navigate your way through a current situation or the world situation, whatever it is, call on the wisdom of the owl, call on the wisdom fairy to guide you through this. I will pull another card. That's, that's really wise advice, excuse the pun, <laughs> the wisdom card. That's really wise advice, I like that. I hope you've been enjoying my astrology videos. Uh, it was, it's quite a, I know I keep going, oh, I edited 24 videos. Yeah, I didn't quite realise when I started doing it how long it was going to take. But um, the feedback has been really lovely. So I'm really pleased that you're enjoying those. And, and I'll do it once or twice a month uh, because it is a huge task doing that. Whoop. Solitude. Okay, so, so the Solitude Fairy is akin to the Hermit card in the Tarot. Now, not all the cards relate to the Tarot, but some of them do, and, and you'll know it straight away if you do work with the Tarot. Now, the Solitude Fairy comes in to say it's okay to be alone. Being alone doesn't mean you're lonely. It means you're all one with all that is. And this is especially true at this time. On a spiritual level, we are so connected right now as this portal this gateway is opened it means that we're all closely more closely connected and, and we can kind of feel it in a more spiritual tangible way it might mean more telepathic communication it could be things like when the phone rings you know who it's going to be just little feelings and gut instincts about things and this will be i think more prevalent during this time so when you're alone and you're in solitude, you're not lonely, you are connected into everything and everyone. And actually that's the opposite of aloneness because it's a crowded world, isn't it? And we've got connections with every single other being here. It doesn't mean that we're hearing them all, but those that are on the same frequency as us, those that resonate on the same or a very similar vibration, we will feel, we'll just instinctively be able to feel them whether they're here or at the other end of the earth or the upper, other end of the country, it doesn't matter. You will still have this very, very strong connection with them if you resonate on the same vibration. And there are many people, um, 
coming into divine union, twin flames reconnecting, reuniting and coming back to, you know, whether one of them is in um, a kind of spiritual realm or both are on the earthly realm. It, it doesn't matter. The connections are happening and they could be like your spirit guides coming in very closely to work with you. So even though you're in solitude, you're not alone. And if you are in solitude, then just know that it's not going to last forever on a physical level and it's certainly not happening on a spiritual level and just know that everything changes if you're in a room full of lots of people and you're thinking well i'd love a bit of solitude then this fairy comes in to say take some time out take some space whether you just go for a walk on your own whether you just go in the bathroom and lock the door and have a lovely long luxurious bath and just forget everything because it can be a little bit um kind of overwhelming when you've got so many people in your space within your aura especially if you are sensitive which i know many of you watching now are and that's okay sensitivity is a superpower okay so thank you the fairy of solitude and because it's such a special day i'm going to pull another card but to be honest every day is a special day <laughs> every day is a special day yay fairies fairies do you have a final message for us today please on this magical 1212 portal wish wisely oh i love this card so much i love them all as you know but it's so perfect like really really perfect timing for this card to come out wishing wisely well We've had the wisdom card and um, this does apply to your wishes as well. And that means in terms of what you're focusing on, what you're wanting to bring about, what you're wanting to manifest within this human earthly reality, within your material plane, it's important to remember and be mindful of the free will of others. The universe knows better than anyone what is right for you at any particular time so leave the face blank fill it with love and just know that whatever you're manifesting if it's in terms of another person that you want to manifest another person into your life then keep the face blank try not to be specific with that otherwise you, you're kind of interfering into the free will of another and that isn't really what is not a good idea to do that now, this can also be, uh, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. Now, that might seem like, well, yeah, but I want to be a millionaire. I want to be this. I want to be that. Try not to focus on the money either. I mean, OK, you might have bills. You might have things that need to be paid, but just visualize them being paid and let the universe fill in the gaps. The universe is ultimately creative and extremely wise. So this fairy comes in to say, wish wisely make your wishes from the inner wisdom that that we all have access to this inner wisdom and then you can also call on the fairy of wisdom to assist you when you're making your wishes so this is really perfect at this time as we're planting seeds so seeds are also like wishes aren't they so you're planting them and you're planting your wishes you're sending them out into the universe and this is such a beautiful magical card to end the reading with but as i said i'm going to be pulling a rune card from the coco rena rune deck and I know that runes are, and it's a, it's a chunky big deck. It really, really is, um, but it's actually gorgeous. I know that runes are very often on wood or stones or any other type of material. So when I saw these ones, I, I mean, I fell in love with the design. I mean, they're gold, black on gold, and, and that is kind of cool, isn't it? Um, it's got quite an Egyptian vibe, but also very modern. Um, yeah there's stars and oh i just i just love it i just love this deck so it is a big deck so let's see um what rune we get for the collective this is exciting this is the first time i will be pulling a rune in one of my videos for the collective so and there you go this is so funny i keep getting this one 
Degas, um, I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly, Degas, Degas, I'm sure everybody's got their own way of saying it. I'm going to do a close up for you. I hope you can see that okay. Degas, meaning the day, dawn. The symbolism is awakening, realisation, enlightenment, another day, hope, daylight, awareness, happiness, the ideal, breakthrough, achievement, prosperity, brightness, development, progress, growth, fundamental change. Degas, pronounced Degas, speaks of the most common and natural cycle, the day and night. What rises must fall and what increases must decrease. Night and day are in perfect balance as there is in all things. This rune is associated closely with light and life and the symbol for Degas has been used for more than 4,000 years to represent it. This symbol shows also the infinity of this action as the night will fall and the sun will rise forever. This rune embodies the ultimate breakthrough, the end of the night and the beginning of the day. The dark times are over and the difficulties are behind you. Only growth and progress lies ahead. So there you go, some wonderful messages from the fairies and from the runes and I wish you a most magical 12-12 right through to the 21st and beyond. Every day should be magical, shouldn't it? But really consciously work with the energy that we have, this beautiful gift from the universe that we have. And then we have the new moon and the solar eclipse coming up in a couple of days. So it's all going on. It's like a this crazy, wonderful cosmic party in the sky. And you're invited, we're all invited we can partake as much as we like. How fantastic is that? I wish you so much love, light, joy and magical fairy blessings and, and look, a little extra wish. <laughs>